everybody. Anyhow, AJ, sweet buddy. Okay, um, I, I need to share something with you guys. I want to show you this. This is in the realm of the axes, of course, because that's what we do here. One of the things we do. Let's <laughs> For you. <laughs> Put it there for now. Sorry, friends. Cleta showed you this the other day. Gosh, friends, that's just wicked. You can see someone sharpened it so so sharp that it'll just break as soon as you hit. I would be surprised if that actually. Watch. You you can see that, right? Watch. I'd be surprised if it didn't bend hitting wood. Yeah. So it's like that on both sides. So what I'll do, and actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna do it right now. Do you guys wanna go do it? I do, I actually do, I wanna go do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna share a few things. We're gonna do a video. <laughs> we are gonna do a video. And it may be things that interest you, and it may not be. It's been a glorious, I got you guys on the big camera right now so I can like do this type of thing. Look at this, friends. I got you on the big A-frame. Angie's, Angie's, uh, sorry guys, sorry guys and gals. There we go. Yeah, okay, so you guys, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna do this. You've seen me do it before. It works awesome. Um, and actually, it's funny because there's a nice little spot where I can sit you guys right here, which is on my sander. And look at how incredible that is, come on. So primitive, but yet so functional. Okay, friends, it's bad. It's really bad. It's a wicked head, but this thing is totally usable still and cooler than cool can even be. But if it's used like this, it will get, it'll get worse. It'll get broken. We need to get this down to better steel. See it? Oh, it's all not right, but I'm going to show you how I do that. Friends, good morning. It's Sven here at... <laughs> Friends, I've just noticed some things, as you can see by my face and uh, everything. You know, my wife, she did this for me. Check it out. Look at these, friends. She cuts a on the... Look at my freaking... This is from the balsams that are dying here in our, uh, in our part of the world. It is not good to see them dying so, so, so fast. They turn overnight almost. That is an, uh, not right overnight, but very fast when they die. Listen, friends, I'm in the video. I have decided to interject again like I do sometimes. There's some people that were missing Sven, missing me, and I, it warms my heart that you ask for me. I've been very busy, as you can tell by my face. I've been in the trees. Billy has trained me to cut the tree now, and he does things for the channel sometimes, and I cut the tree, but something very important came to my attention. This channel is getting more people coming to it. Yes, and I will tell you something right now. There's this man, his name is Mike Jones. I think I put his name in the video. I'm making the video. I do many things for Bucken now. <laughs> I've been here a long time and I'm grateful for the job. Cletus is uh, kind of rubbing shoulders here sometimes. I'm getting used to him. It's okay, he's, he's a good guy. He has a, had a rough go. You know, with the thing there and everything. It's a nice man. He's a nice man. Peanut Butter 99. Is this what it is? No, it's Peanutter. It says Peanutter 99. Welcome to this channel, my friend, okay? I wanted to welcome you personally in the interjection of the main video. Sven is my name, if you've forgotten. Uh, Mick Shady. Mr. Shady, it says here. Mr. Shady, welcome to you. There's another man, Charles Lilly. I like Charles the name, and Lilly I like as well. Put them together, you get Charles Lilly. It's a very nice name. Welcome to the channel, my friend. I'm doing a random shoutouts in amongst the videos because you know why? Billy has told me the thing that is most important are the newcomers to the channel. You see? So Sven has this task of doing this 
Cletus, of course, did the gullet in the chalkboard and things, which was fun. I could maybe do one like that. I was asking Billy if there was more work for me to do. He's got me in the trees. Friends, I love you all. Thank you for asking for Sven. Talk to you soon. Be kind, friends. It's actually how they do it. You can look at all the... Yeah, it, there's the daylight behind it. It's not good. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. This has got enough grit on it. Oh, yeah, this looks good, actually. Real good. We're going to lay this on here flat like this. And we're going to ever so slightly with a nice, steady hand. You're going to have a steady hand. And just do it. Get the curve again. Working really good. Like, really good. So there's our first pass. Take a look at our first pass, friends. Let's shut this off. I want to share this with you each time we do it. Look at it. Look at it. Let's get you in the daylight so you can see. Remember the daylight before you could see the... There's one there. A little one left right there. Okay. Okay. So here it is now. Right? Okay? It was brutal. It was sharpened completely goofily. Now this is what we have now. You can see it. Look at, friends, look at the steel we have now. It's a flat surface. Now we can rebevel it. Right there. So, it, it, and you can see how it's flat. Of course, you have a flat face there now, right? Yeah, let's just see if we can shake a little of that light back there, friends, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. There. Yeah. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, good. Let's do it again. Let's go again. You want to maintain that radius as best you can, friends. We're looking really good. We're looking really good. Okay, you, you guys see what I'm talking about, don't you? I know you do. Look at this freaking head. Look at all the steel left in it, friends. This thing's wicked. Look at it. There's the, there's the, the temper right there, temper line. It's, it's, friends, it's, it's in really, really good shape. I would never see a name. I know I would never see a name on this thing. But I, I just wanted to show you guys, gals, women and children, this. Okay, so I just took the edge down like I showed you straight on. Okay, so let's take this off now. There, so I've done basically what I what I usually do um, in order to fix up a, a really busted up, chipped up edge like that. I don't know why. <laughs> it's strange. I just. I feel good. I I think, ah, well, I try not to go off like that because I'm just a grateful dude and I don't want to sound like Mr. Richard Simmons. You can do it! You know what I mean? But I just feel good about life. I don't know why. Well, I think I do. Anyway, let's, let's now, let's actually sharpen this ax now. We don't need to do another one of those. We're, we, we've got our flat surface. We've got our edge. This is a wicked axe. I'm freaking stoked. I'm gonna sharpen this axe. Let's do it. So this is what I do. Actually, you know what? This is gonna be really cool, friend. You guys are a little bit in my way though, so I gotta, Ever so slightly move you guys a little bit. I don't want you falling. There. Okay, that's that's what I need from you guys. Okay? Okay. Because I want to get up on here. There. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's already done. Friends, I'm not kidding. It's already done. There's the burr. It's there. That's wicked. So we could actually, 
if we wanted to, I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of a bird today too. We're going all the way. I get it with my hands. Literally get it with my hands. Wow. You guys need to see the eye in the sky right now. No, we're doing it. We're putting the eye in the sky on you right now. <sighs> get rid of that. You, you guys need to see this. Truly you do. That was like hardly any passes at all, but we got a good grid on the paper. So let's take a look at this. I want you guys to see this. This is not brain science, friends. Look. Look at this. Okay, where's the best spot? Okay. Can you, you, you see that, right? You, you see this? See, see the burr? Can you guys see that burr right there? Look at it. Look at this. Watch. Watch this. See it? Now watch. See? There it goes. Literally, the burr is gone. You can get rid of burrs in more ways than one. Yes, you can use your stones and you can do all that. You know what I use? I use wood. I use wood. And I'll show you. So, you know what, friends? Uh, I don't think we need to, well, I know we don't need to do anything else here. That ax is rip-roaring sharp. Okay, that was literally, well, you saw it. I don't have to explain it to you. This is crazy. It's done. Wow. Amazing. So now I'll just, I like to do a couple of these too. Soft, little soft ones. Helps with the burr. Whoa! That is amazing. <laughs> That's wicked. This edge is really nice. This one, like really nice. Yeah, I like this one. Okay, good, good enough. Let's go inside. Okay. So, I want to show you guys how I get rid of a burr. Sometimes I just go like this. This is no joke. Watch. Gone. Wood, chopping, you know, not not carving. So so my my axes and my edges, I call them a firewood edge or a hard edge. I don't I don't want a hair cutting a hair cutting um you know thing, even though this will probably pull some hairs. That 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 little sander's wicked out there, okay friends? Okay. So <clears throat> I'll put you guys back up here. <clears throat> so there we are. Burr gone. It's gone. The burr, the burr is gone from rubbing that back and forth like that and still sharp as craziness. Okay? Because it's wood. You, you, you can get it with a stone and you can do all that. You can do it with your hands. You can do it with leather. You can do it with all kinds of different things. I just do it with wood. I'm a wood guy. Friends, this axe is, is turning out really, really cool. This thing is pitted all the way through everywhere. On top, inside the eye. This is so cool. I don't think I can get rid of this. I'm gonna chop a tree down with this thing. This is amazing. You can see the temper line right there. Right there. See it, friends? Right there, and obviously, 
right there. This is what would it take for this to for this to happen like this? You can tell which which side was down. It was this side that was down because look, it's not as bad. This is a really cool, a cool head. It it just is, and it strikes me as a Walters. And the reason I say that is because of the eye. The eye's mint. It's never been beat up. I truly think that this axe head was, oh, wow, I wonder where, this was found in the ground. I can guarantee it. I can almost guarantee it. What an amazing axe head. Could almost, we could, I'll bet you we could almost see something right there if I took the sander to that. I'm not going to though, because this is a done deal, this. Okay, now. Another thing, so that was a sharpening scenario, right, friends? Let's get you up here. So that was one thing I wanted to show you. Another thing I want to show you right now is this. This is a factory seated, hafted axe, okay? I made it for my wife. What she had, she had a, I think it was a 32 or a 36, probably 32 inch handle. It was 32. It might even have been 36. It was. She was finding that she was getting a lot of overstrike here. And it was because the axe was too long for her and too big. She's not used to that far out like that reaching and, and hitting wood. <clears throat> she wanted to be closer to the wood. So I made her this little 28 or, or just refurbished it, made it a buck and special. Um, do you guys remember me talking about a shelf where an ax sits on a shelf, where it goes down and it sits on a shelf. And that's okay, but it isn't really, not for me. Uh, I wouldn't build an ax like that. I know I've probably come close a couple times in my ax making thing where I've, I've that's happened to me a couple times, I think quite a, wh a while ago. But what I do differently is, I, I talk to you guys about holding your head down when you pound your wedge, if you hold the handle, if you hold the handle and clobber that wedge, there's a chance that that ax head can actually just jump up a little bit when you're pounding your wedge. You don't want that. So if you're doing one where it kind of looks like it's not a friction fit, where it goes down and it starts to eat wood, like this one is a complete, and I'll show it to you on the eye in the sky because this eye in the sky is very beneficial to us. I'm gonna pull it out of my pocket and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right now. This ax sits on a shelf. Look at. Okay, so you think, okay, the ax head's loose, it's gonna come off. Well, not necessarily. <laughs> this, this, ax, this, head, this head is actually not coming off. You guys can't see me. But I wanna show you this before I start rambling. I want you to look close at what's going on here. Look. See it? It's sitting on a shelf. Friends, you need to see this again. Look at, I mean, it's just it completely sitting on a shelf. So it's, it doesn't have a friction. It doesn't have a friction fit at all. So it's kind of no good, uh, in my opinion, unless it stays hydrated. We could hydrate the axe and it would be fine. Just leave it out in the rain or soak it in a bucket and you'll be fine. But then it's going to dry out again and it's going to be a continuing battle of get wet, get dry, get wet, get dry, get wet, get dry. That's why I stress to people who anybody where you buy your axes, if you buy them here, buy them anywhere. Don't leave them out in the sun, in the scorching hot sun, in the dry, dry weather. Keep them in a cool place. Keep them in a cool, dark place. Just do when you're not using them, friends. Hang them on a rope, whatever cool dark place now so so I got to get this off here uh, I, I don't really know my strategy yet I'm gonna try and pick this out of here uh, I, I, I'm, I'm probably not gonna film it because it's, this is a man axe actually friends it's a nice axe it's a two and a quarter pound man axe a beautiful axe my wife loves it I actually got it friends ha <laughs> ha yeah there it is what a bonus It is loose, friends. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna have to drill into it. Oh, here it comes. I got it. 
<laughs> okay, you guys need to see this. Look at it. It's one of these. These are actually good wedges, but you just saw what happened, right? You, you just saw what happened. It was dry. And this is a factory axe, friends. I would reckon it is. Uh, it may not be. It may not be, but I think it is. I don't know if Man Axe used those, though. You know, did Man use those? Probably not. So may maybe it isn't. Anyways, regardless, I'm going to keep this rolling because I got it. This is gorgeous, friends. Okay, friends. There it is. There's the handle. So look at the shelf it was sitting on. Look at. So, so to me, this is an absolute bonus. This axe is going to become a completely integral axe now. I love these ones, friends. I do. I love them. This is going to work really cool, friends. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, let's go. That was a two minute and 50 second little interlude that we had with our sander. And this is what we end up with. Okay. We've changed it completely. So I'm going to show you what happens. You see, I've taken that shoulder and I've taken that shelf right off. I may even take it more because I still think it's going to sit. I do, friends. I still think it's going to actually just um, um, sit there. So we may as well do this right now because we know we're going to have to. Eh, yeah, we are. I think, I'm, well, maybe not. I'm thinking about the curve, friends. The curve. I'm going to actually clean up this head for her too. It's going to be a nice little axe when I'm done, friends. Really nice. It's going to be a buck and special. Okay, so let's look now. Okay, sorry friends, I just had to get the top straightened out. There, now we can now we can resurrect that simply. It just wasn't in the in the way I couldn't. Uh... There we go. Just want to check your curve. Open up your curve again, right, friends? So you can take a look at this and see. Oh, look at that. There's there's something else in there. What is that? We need to get that straight, friends. We can't have that. Let's grab our new hacksaw that I'm very happy with and just resurrect that curve. All right, let's check it out. Oh, I like it, friends. See the nice transition there now? Beautiful transition. Let's check it out. Let's do it. This is going to go right on. <laughs> See, this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's already It's already down on that shoulder, friends. Look. Okay? It's down. But it's going down more. I'm not happy with that. That's I'm I'm going to take the shoulder down more. We're going to go You guys are going to come with me on this. Just a couple taps to see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, check this out. Watch what happens. This is very interesting. I hope this is, I hope this is helpful information for people, because this stuff really helps me when I'm doing stuff and I go on YouTube and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense, right, friends? So, look at. We can't have that. So that's hammering into there. So you know what we need to do, don't you? Because the fit is so tight that we need even more of a transition there. Or, or less, less of a transition. This is gonna be wicked when it goes on. It's cracking the back of that right there right now. Let's go see what we can do with the sander. It's such a small handle. Let's give it some more sanding. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it's... Let's go. Let's go check this out. I know this is a longer video, but I can totally like chop it down for us, friends. I want you to check this out now. I want you to check the transition. Look at it. There's hardly any transition at all now. The axe handle was too fat there, friends. It was too fat. It came down and sat on a shelf. I talk about it a lot. 
I like man axes for a few different reasons. They really take a neat uh, patina. Okay, let's look at this now. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on again. Let's take a look here. There we go. There she goes. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, th this is... Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're getting back on the eye in the sky. You need to see this now. I'm going to show it to you. You can see it here, but I don't think it'll really do much for you. I'm excited, friends, about this stuff. Look, see the transition? There's hardly anything. Go back in the video and take a look at what it was before. It was, it was massive. This is better. This is much better. Now I'm gonna put the eye in the sky on so you can get a really good look at this. Nice. Let's, uh, let's look at this now. So, so take a look closely what's going on here. You guys can see this, I'm sure. Okay, see what we got now? I haven't even hit the ax. We're at the top, okay? Remember, this was a top ax. It was a flat top ax. It was not a proud ax. There's a little space there, see it? Which will, which will go away when it rides back here. It'll go away. It's gonna tighten up, that'll disappear and I'll show you. This thing's ready to get hit. But see, I had to create space here for it to travel, friends, okay? So I just wanted to show that up close, friends. I hope that eye in the sky is the cat's meow. I like it, friends, I do. I really like it. Let's check this out. Okay, I'm ready to just give this a little, it's beautiful. I'm just gonna give this a little of this. Just a little. Oh, would you look at that? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, so what's happening is it seems to be digging in on one side, which we got curled everywhere, freaking everywhere. I'll show you what this looks like now. And we're getting proud too, friends, we're getting proud. Okay, so I almost think, amazing. Okay, so that's this side. So I almost think there's something wrong with the, um, I'll bet you there's something up with this. Wow. Yeah, so if that's that, I'll bet you we got a sharp... Yeah, we do. Of course we do, friends. Oh! Wow! No wonder we're digging in. Gotta check all these little things, friends. We got, like, major action on the inside here. Check this out. help it okay there we go this is gonna go on like butter now watch this friends watch boom see that instantly because of that edge okay so okay I like this come on friends let's go we have got a long video let me tell you we got curl every freaking place so curl does create its own teeny little shelf but the shelf it was on before was a freaking, a, a big shelf, for lack of a better word. Okay, friends, here's our finished product on the handle, just before I seat it. It's got it right down on the hump, right to the shoulder. I've transitioned it, changed the transition completely. We've got curl pretty much everywhere. Remember, this is a small little axe for my wife. Little bit not right there. I could change that, but I'm not going to. I'm there. It's got a neat stance, this ax actually. It's got a really neat stance. There we go. So, back on with the head. This is much better, friends. There we go. See, it only goes to there by hand. And then it sits down almost to the end there it is hee <laughs> hee straight as an arrow we got proudness now I'm really happy about this actually now I just gotta find a wedge there we go two-thirds the axe 
that's what you want with your wedge definitely well that's nice actually very nice good okay talk to you in a minute okay friends this will be our last little video on this this hasn't taken me that long i wanted to get this done for my wife it's got really nice we we got it everywhere a teeny little space at the front like i showed you without the curl we're down on the axe beautifully very nicely all the way around we got a transition so that it, it didn't sit on a shelf no more it's actually gone <coughs> and grab wood so it's sitting on the head by itself really nicely without a wedge do you know what i'm saying friends i know you do because you're very smart people now take a look at your your space how much space have you got there you got that much well i got a soft wood wedge it's actually hard it's i think it's hickory it's, it's definitely not poplar this stuff but i'm going to take a chance and cram a really thick wedge in here and hammer it down after i pop some glue on it which will be right this instant let's do it what a gorgeous day it is out there we had rain like crazy and then it settled down i really like this um bond tight bond or whatever waterproof tight bond oh <laughs> it's really good stuff it, it's dry in like no time i like caking this stuff too it's sweet it helps the axe i know it does okay here we go let's do this you guys may as well come on down for this let's put you guys because i know i'm going to run out of battery but if i put you guys here like this you'll probably catch this in action let's do it let's grab our special axe Remember, this is my wife's axe. It's very important to keep the wife happy with the axe. Are you ready, friends? I think you're seeing me. Matter of fact, I know you are. I'm tickled. I'm very tickled. Ouch. That just hurt my hand. Okay, Bucking took a chance. You know how many times I've hit my hand in the same spot? Is that skin or glue? Damn, I, I'm gonna, I know by the time I'm done this, I've smacked that part of my hand. I don't know how many times it's gonna, there's gonna be a massive bump there. I just smoked it again. But look what we got, friends. That whole wedge went down. It did, it went down. It went down beautifully. Mind you, I cracked the outside of the hickory pretty good with the axe when I, when I smacked my hand. So we'll have to see how that comes up. <laughs> oh, actually, it's not bad. <laughs> okay, friends. Let's go clean it up. See if I can get enough battery with you guys. I'll do a little of this. That hurt my hand. Oh, yeah. We got lucky good okay this axe just became that hurt my hand this axe just became a completely integral axe again friends look at look at the spread <laughs> this will be interesting she just left it out there well so did i it's my fault too it's our little firewood axe. actually it's my wife's firewood axe so there it is friends it's down, it's got curl, it's a new axe, a completely new axe. We'll give it a little hit of the Watka and it's gonna be game on. And that's been bugging me because it was, we had, it worked really good all winter because it was moist out. But so, so you'll notice those axes that sit on a shelf like that, they can be repaired. We got lucky with that wedge, it popped out. I don't think that was a, uh, a, 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 a custom, or pardon me, a stock, handle for man i don't think so i don't think they use those those i just don't think they did but i don't know okay thanks for joining me friends when buck and billy rays if you enjoyed some of the stuff you watched today if you picked up a few tips that maybe you didn't know give it the old slapperoni and hitchhiking down the road with the thumb leave a comment if you want other than that just be kind to people that's pretty much what i'm thinking let's be kind as heck okay friends over and out Thanks for watching.
See you in the trees.